Hey guys, today we're playing Tunic! I think this is a, a Zelda-style game, actually. Uh, I feel like I vaguely heard about it a long time ago, and then forgot. And I might be mixing it up. I am. I'm also, th I'm also thinking of Moss, which was a VR top-down game where he plays like a little mouse, I think. Which I also haven't played. But I'm on top of things lately, <laughs> is the takeaway. Look at them colors. Yeah. Pressed a button and inventory or er, that uh, interface came up. We got a roll. Yeah. Left bumper brings this place up. Mm, looks like I can assign what my X, Y, and B do. Was that what? Oh, that's off trigger. Oh. Is it a lock-on system? Like when there's actually an enemy around? Because it kind of looks like it is. The way that it, uh, it becomes a way more vertical camera angle. That's interesting. Any other way that you strafe? Oh yeah, even the part where the screen, the top and the bottom have a bar. Like Z-targeting, specifically. Sup? Sup, 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 sup. Nope. Glowy thing? Like, a, it's a card? Cool. <laughs> Thanks for your input. Oh, that's pretty. What are those? Spiky nightmares. Hmm. Oh, it's because I have a left. I have a lock on target down. What was that? Is a rat man? I was noticing that he was locking onto it with his head, like he was looking at it. And I'm like, what's going on? What's up? What's going on, bud? It's like, uh, was it Silent Hill? I think was the one where your character constantly you like look around the room. If there's something worth trying to press A on, your character will often notice before you do. Oh, I thought those might have been spikes for a second there. Hmm. Block pushing. Oh, these are these are bushes. They wobble. So you're not gonna push those. They are rooted. Alright, well that seems like an enemy. I don't think I'm equipped for enemies. Uh, can't fall off. Let's go inside the glowy place. Maybe there's a weapon. Eh? Yeah. Dangerous to go along, take this. It's a stick. <laughs> the text! Just unhelpful. Let's map it to X, because I've already been pressing X to try to use it anyway. There we go. I have a tiny stick. I'm basically ready to kill God now. Look at me go. Are you God? Oh. Oh, you can combo a little bit too. Mm, that's locked. Does not open from this side. Hero's grave. Oh, sword. Oh, I'm gonna grave rob somebody once I can figure out how to open that door. This is a good opening to my my little hero's journey. So there's health bars, but only for the person you're currently locked onto. That is a cat statue? Maybe not? Long nose. Too long of a nose. Maybe a fox? What are those spiky boys? Is this a fallen furry society? rolling. Oh, you, you can run. Okay. <laughs> I did eventually get curious. Hmm. There's another one of those statues. Can I look around with the right stick? No. So I don't think I can get past these bushes, but there's like a tuning fork. 
or a lever by a statue and there's a staircase going down to seemingly nowhere my gut reaction is to think that like a hook shot would get me around ah there's the counter attack I was wondering was wondering when, bleh, was wondering when that happens hello you can do it you can do it congratulations your reward is death can I fall in water? Nope. <laughs> Something town, and then in parentheses, additional name that is also unreadable. Cool, bud. Big help. Oh. Oh, that's the, the sweat. The sweat comes from you running too much. Or jumping, or just using up your stamina. Oh, you go way faster. That is... That is a high sprint speed for a top-down game, because you can only see so far anyway. Oh. Did we just bonfire? Yes. The world reset in a very cool time-lapse sort of way. <laughs> okay. da da, -da, -da. I love being asked questions where I can't read it, <laughs> and then it's like, yes, how did you know? I would love to, uh... They're doing that tilt-shift photography trick that makes the world look all small, the way that it's blurry in, in the background and so on. The very specific, like, focusing style. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know photography words besides the th part I said already, and that's tenuous already. But I bet I can go back to Sword Door Yep, nope. Sword door and seven years ago. You don't use up stamina when you run. Thought you did. I thought I saw that earlier. But I must have just been still recovering from my other nonsense. Boom! Weird shaped keys, not very pocket friendly. Definitely gotta have, gotta have like a keychain on the like an external one. Uh <laughs> Okay, some of it's in English, though. Look at this! It looks like a scanned piece of paper. Oh, oh, wow. Okay. Beginning your adventure. Ringing the East Bell. Ringing the West Bell. It's it's a walkthrough. This is a, this is an old this is an old fashioned strategy guide. Look at that. It's teach <laughs> so I got to ring the two bells like in Dark Souls, and there's extremely Zelda stuff going on visually. And I have a check mark of like, do this at the East Forest, then this at Hero's Grave, which is where I got the sword, then this at the, with the guard captain. And then the ring, ring the West Bell requires Old House, Flooded Well, Dark Tomb, West Garden, on page 27. At some point I gotta get, like, get a key, and at some point I gotta get a, get a lantern. A blue lantern. And then question mark? Although question mark's a weird thing to leave in a guide, but whatevs. Do what you want, I guess. In a far-off land, a great treasure was sealed away forever. Some, day, some say it is the power to defy death. And there's a whole language to decode here that I don't know if we'll ever be able to read it. It looks varied enough that you can probably translate it, but I would lose my mind trying to do it by hand. But maybe they'll, maybe it'll get fixed when I learn the language. Or maybe it, we'll never, we'll never know for sure. And some guy in the comments will translate it all or something, but it'll be too late. The great, the game screen. The fox is a fox. Cool. <laughs> it's, it's highlighting the yellow square on the ground on page 41, apparently. There's something there. Prize slash treasure goes in chess. Health, stamina, magic. Ba -do -ba -do. Magic potions. Did those regenerate at every uh, time lapse? <laughs> I think we're going to have some familiar systems here. Everything hurts way more when I'm tired. In some ways, that is like my perfect, like two things that I just want a lot, is like Zelda dungeons crossed with Dark Souls combat and exploration. So if that's what we're getting, then I'm gonna be pretty fucking happy. Oh, oh, I was anticipating that counter attack. Oh, I, I killed the last one. I was just about to say I need to practice target switching and figure how that works. That chest is opened already. Who's going to die next? <laughs> Somebody has crimed on me. That's the first barrier of bushes I tried to get past at the beginning, I think. Is 
This game's just adorable. Oh. Hookshot, maybe, or something? Some kind of gap closer. Or crosser. This is a recurring thing. Or maybe we can, like, pick up a ladder, like in The Last of Us, and lay it across. Or maybe you can repair. Turn back time. Ice bridge. I don't know. I've played video games before. <laughs> I have 75 ways that I could answer this question. <laughs> that is the kind of fun part of Metroidvania type setups, is just trying to, just tr kind of trying to guess what the power is going to be that's going to solve your problem. Hello. But -da -da, it's a, it's a you, made a, you made a bank of your own head. It's really weird. <laughs> Congrats, I, oh, select is the strategy guide. It's just always here. I like, I love that it looks like a little scanned piece of paper. Look at the, what do you, what do you call that? The printing or whatever. Look at the texture on the colors. I don't know how, how visible that, that is on a YouTube video, but uh, in full resolution, you can see like a little, spackling grid of texture on the ink that you would get from, like, printing. It's really noticeable. It's kind of a neat detail. Start. Instruction booklet. Option. So that's set to select. Can I change what's set to select? No. Oh yeah, left bumper was this menu. Okay, here we go. What does that do? Let's waste it. Da 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 da! Oh shit! Okay, it all came to me. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> I wasn't ready for what was gonna happen. Okay, okay, okay. Now we know. So you can, you break those for money. That was <laughs> that really startled me. I wasn't ready for him to break it. I'm like, oh look, he's showing off this little this little fox wallet, and then it fucking exploded, and then half of it went off a cliff. And I thought, so I thought I lost it. Cool. That looks like a secret. Illusory me. There's even like a little aliasing flicker going on that makes me... It, 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 it looked like the hint of a Hanna-Barbera effect going on. Where there's a... It's like, haha, this thing is not technically the same model as the rest of it. Maybe I'm still right. I don't know. Oh, there's some going on there too. Might just be a little bit of a flicker. That I'm noticing. Which stands out in particular because the art style is so clean that anything that does something slightly odd is going to, like, jump out at you. I'm glad you I'm glad they come to you, because them having physics for a moment is terrifying when you think that they might actually be gone. That's why I thought stamina is consumed by running, because when you, have to, you, when you press run, you start by rolling. And that does consume stamina. East Forest. Yeah, it's definitely all blocked. There's stuff all around. Hey, everybody. Welcome to your death. Oh, well. We're developing our strategy guide. It even goes back and forth across the gutter. It's not all just flipping forever. Left trigger is lock on. Uh, left stick is moving, I guess. Right trigger is going to be a shield. Right bumper is going to be Estus flask. Oops, did I say that out loud? <laughs> uh, a is rolling, I guess, and then hold. Yeah, hold it to run. This is. I pre. I, I'm enjoying that. Like it's a weird mix of obvious stuff that is just a tutorial, but it's also like a kind of a little bit of a puzzle where you're kind of trying to like interpret this thing I have a re I have a recurring thing that I'll get into probably in some videos later too like some some essay type stuff but like I I think there's a lot to be said about having the player have to work for information I talked about this with the Elden Ring too but like whenever a player has to work for information they're more likely to remember it than they do when you just deliver it to them for free and the worst part of delivering it for free is when you just exposit stuff at them endlessly and this, this goes for both world building and storytelling and so on, and tutorials in video games, is they'll often just try to dump everything on you as, as efficiently as possible in a big deluge. But you're just getting, like, beat over the head by just way too much information that you can't do anything with, and it's coming at you too fast, and it's like... Like, it's literally how, like... I, I'm confused because everybody supposedly went to school, right? 
And like, that's what people don't like about school is that you sit in a lecture and somebody just talks for like an hour and you're like the reason you got to take notes and so on is because it's like it's hard to just sit there and continually retain an endless barrage of information. But if you get a little playful with it and you tease people a bit and you make it hard to get absolutely everything and, and then you deliver it at a certain pace and especially deliver with people answers when they're asking for when they're asking the questions because then they want the answers. And like they remember the thing and that sounds way harder than just fucking listing everything but like I don't know we're decades deep into this medium we should be a little more mature about the whole thing and not just be doing the thing that we did 20 years ago some games are just way more successful there's something that I Elden Ring has me thinking about a lot of stuff because that game's fascinating and it's commitment to just like refusing to give you information in many cases <laughs> Not always. It's like it's got some weird stuff, like a weird series of tutorial pop-ups that I don't think are very good, especially when they explain things that you can't do yet, and it's like cool, not helpful. But at other times, like some of the mechanics are are memorable specifically because you had to like work to even figure out how the game worked. But it's also kind of designed for you to not understand how half of it works for a big chunk of the game. You can kind of just wander around its open world and not understand how to play it for a while. And it kind of wants you to. Because otherwise it would have just told you everything. And it don't. That is a well. Its primary sense of it being important is that it, it, it's interactive at all. Which means, uh, well, it's interactive. Makes you wonder why it's interactive. Is it fast travel well? Can I go in the well later? Do I need to get a rope? I might kind of love it if they just never, if I never learn how to read any of this information. <laughs> They might be doing some really creative things there. But we'll see. You look like an old ass freaking Star Fox graphics thing. Hat eh, Fox. Uh, Hero's Grave. I thought his. his oh, oh, yeah, I thought, didn't I? Hmm. Oh, yeah, I opened the door to the what I thought was a house and it went into Hero's Grave, huh? Like, we're still going in that direction. I just had, I just had to remember that, like where we were going. Yeah, I never went I never went north past the first bonfire. Gotta remember that. I'm worse at remembering my surroundings in this camera angle. So I have to work for it a little more. I like myself in a nice first person or third person camera when I'm exploring. It's a more top down one. Anything that turns the game into a series of screens is less good for my brain, apparently, and my sense of direction, or just memorizing all of my loose ends and so on that I want to explore. Although I think I've done okay at some of the Metroid games. I'm just really at home in the Dark Souls and 3D Zelda kind of feel. Ah! But it... But there's a back and forth about the, like, learning pace of video game mechanics and whatnot. There, that looks like... How, how do I ruin this chipmunk's life? Uh, but I'm way more... What I'm most interested in is how, what you can do there if, when you teach people the narrative that way. That's the thing! Ba-boom! Yep, oh yeah, and it's permanently up there. It totally restores at bonfires, doesn't it? It's it's absolutely an Estus. Can't go down. Because there's different versions of the work for mechanics knowledge idea. Because one of the versions is that you work for the mechanics knowledge and then you use that to like, that's the puzzle. <laughs> like, games like The Witness, or I think Toki Tori 2, but I haven't played it, or Full Bore or other stuff. It's what their games often that where the mechanics are intact are intact at the beginning, but they don't tell you about them, and so uh, the various discoveries are you realizing that the game even can do certain things. So let's see the thing restore. Yep, I saw it. But so many games just want to throw all of their world building, all of their characters, and all their lore just at you in long, boring Kingdoms of Amalur exposition. And a lot of them would benefit from you 
actually having a mystery to wonder about. Wow, I'm just fucking wandering into some of this stuff. Because when you're curious about stuff, because you have reason to be curious, not just because you just, like, are inherently curious or something, then, like, that's a good place to be narratively. It's good to it's good to ask a question before you get an answer. That's a cool layout. There's, it's giving us a glimpse that there's a wall up there and reasons to want to go there. A little bit of a substitute for being able to actually look around all on our lonesome. Like, you know what? When I'm doing a Let's Play, you know that a narrative might have done something right if I start theorizing about what might be going on. And, like, out loud. And then I'm like, don't fucking answer me, by the way. No spoilers. <laughs> I would have to specify that, too, because people think that saying that I'm wrong isn't a spoiler. I'm like, that's a spoiler. Of course it's a spoiler. Stop. <laughs> like, your players are in a good place when they're asking questions. The Dark Souls version is not my favorite. The one where you just, you're just asking questions you're not going to get answers to, by and large, in the actual playthrough. That is a gargant spider, and this is a hook. It's very shiny. Oh, 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 that's more spiders. Oh, there's, oh, that's a lot more really big spiders. Oh, no. Uh, how much damage did I just take? <laughs> how much does that heal me? It heals me by one pip, basically. I have a stick. Look at me go. Ow, fuck. I'm gonna die. Uh, do I have iframes? I'm gonna die! <laughs> I'm gonna die so bad! <laughs> this sucks, I'm leaving. Okay, wow. Uh, maybe the shield will help. <laughs> they do like more than an entire pip of damage. Like it's mo like I will die in two hits, no matter what, basically. Okay, so that sucked. Let's not. Let's go to, let's get the card and other stuff. Move on with our lives. Left trigger, target lock. Press A to evade, right trigger to block. Yeah, I'll be right on that, huh? There, there's an Voldemort, there's an iframes anim- <laughs> So once your head hits the ground, you're no longer in iframes. Your iframes are like, your iframes are like half of the roll. Oh, there's dust. The dust tells you what, which part of the animation is iframes. Stamina points. You can always attack even without stamina. Oh, so attacking is not part of stamina. Stability. Flinch knocked over. Stability. 25% of HP. Are they saying that I get, I, I get fall over if I am at 25%? Look at the background there. Look at that old school CRT look. I don't know if I understand st stability necessarily. Oh yeah, attacking doesn't require stamina to begin with. Oh yeah, the beginning of the roll has a little bit of dust. Alright. Wow. That is a move to just straight up explain in detail how much of your roll has iframes. Entirely through visuals, too. So he said this way is the hero's grave? What's over here? Can I even go in here? There's also an up top. Um, no, I can't go this way. They're teasing me. I'm thinking you get to the hero's grave and you get a sword and then the sword cuts bushes. Because the bushes are hard stopping me from going certain ways. Ow. 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 Not my proudest. Not, not my proudest. I need to stop. I haven't died yet, technically. Although I think they might have let me not die. <laughs> you know, I can use weapons. <laughs> Things are getting pretty bad around here. Is it, we're not just fighting the little blooper blobs from Bastion anymore. There you are. Ow. Ah! Ah. Ah! Wow, that is a str- that is a- oh, I dropped my money.
That is a rapid response attack. That one didn't give me... Those guys were kind of hard to deal with. This is... This is death. I'm blue now. Ma'am? Or dude? Blued? Is this gender? <laughs> I'm back. What just happened? Achievement unlocked. Yeah. <laughs> Fair. Alright, does my money get dropped where I die and then I grab it again? Oh, hello. It's blue me. And then everything comes back. Alright, I was worried when it all, once again when it all scattered everywhere. Ah, shit. That I might have lost it all. Alright, two of those guys at once sucks. Those guys are really rapid fire. I feel like they attack more than the previous ones that looked like them before. Ah, okay. Attacking even twice in a row seems to not be a great plan lately. Ah. Yeah. Ah, shit. Yeah, they attack pretty rapidly. Not a great time for me. Nope. Oh! Good. It wasn't good. Spoilers. Got him! Alright. Bit easier when there's not a pile of bad all around me at the same time. What am I stuck on? Wait. Oh, stairs. This, this, this was stairs. Okay. <laughs> I walked upstairs. Those were a bit obscured. Oh, I'm trying to walk around the stairs now and I'm failing. So where do I go? Can I fit here? Yes. Don't think that works for me. Wow, you're strong. <laughs> good luck, good luck putting it back ever. That seems kind of impossible. I built a lock that works exactly once. The moment you want to do it once, pff, gone. Oh, it's a tail. I thought he had wings. Oh, he's, holding a, he's holding a little candle. And he looks very dead and sad. I'm the next one, sad fox. Wait, hang on a minute. Nope. Nope, oh, nope. Oh. Well, now they're fucked. Oh yeah, that, did, that went exactly how I thought it would. <laughs> you just decapitate the bush and just rolls around a little bit like it's a weird cardboard box like made of jelly or something. Boing, boing, boing. That is a, yeah, that's a, that is a very sad statue. And it looks a lot like you, buddy. Doesn't bode really well for you. And your future I mean, I guess everyone dies. You don't know what how it happened. But it is it is not the uh triumphant celebratory hero pose you expect in that kind of context a lot of the time. Can I cut down these guys? Nope. That would be too much power for one mortal to handle. You can handle shrubbery and nothing else. Nothing over here, but I have lured them away on accident. I mean on purpose, because I'm a genius. And everything that I do that's good is on purpose. And everything that I do that's bad didn't actually happen. Edit that out. So, I, I got a card from you earlier, huh? But the other one was blank? Empty, I mean? Those mean something. I almost wonder if they're fast travel. If there's like one in each zone. You'll make sense at some point next time.